Hi, my name's Mary Gakopoulos and I'm the CEO at Agape Care. I have been involved with Agape Care since 2007 when I came on board as a volunteer because I wanted to contribute back to the community and make a difference. Well, Agape Care was established in 1987 by a group of Greek Australians who were unwavering in their belief that their children with a disability deserved equal access and equal rights to services in this country. Very quickly, the organisation realised that it wasn't just a Greek Australian problem, it was a multicultural problem. Multiculturalism in staff relationships, uh, especially within an organisation like Agape Care, involves some planning. We have to ensure that the right people are in the right positions to be able to support our clients as best as possible. Our tools include, for example, an employee profile. So one of the headings is about me. And in that heading, you're able to include information, what is important to you uh, culturally, traditionally, um, religiously as well. Once we complete the staff profile, we then go to the clients. And what we put together what's called a person-centred plan. The person-centred plan includes information about what is important to the client, what the client wants from Agape Care, how Agape Care is going to support that client to achieve their goals, and what type of person would they like to support them. So the client will say, you know, Mary, I want somebody young, or I want somebody, you know, that's as old as mum. We try to get as much information out of you as possible to be able to support you as best we can in this role. Our team building is fantastic because we don't do team building just for the office management, for example, administration or the board. We actually involve the carers as well. So people started becoming creative and that's what it's all about. If we're going to deliver a service that's going to be the best it possibly can be, we need to be creative. So with staff, we look at what needs they need to have fulfilled while they attend work. And one of the thing was their mental health, um, ensuring that their, their, their well-being was maintained. You know, some of the things that we took away as an organisation was the fact that our staff needed, you know, didn't just require counselling, they needed further support. We renovated our building at uh, number four Bruce Street to include a gym. So if staff want to have a break, you know, to regroup, they can always go down and utilise the facilities that are there. Uh, we uh, employed a wellbeing, a health and wellbeing coordinator to be able to support the staff if they needed additional support. We have, uh, we have health science, uh, an individual that does that. We've got RTOs. We brought these individuals in if we're going to maintain the staff that we have and be able to provide the best service, but also ensure that they continue with their education and continue with their professional development, we needed to make sure that we ticked our boxes, our own checklist. So Agape Care started working with uh, new and emerging communities and uh, it wasn't too long after that that we realised that a lot of women wanted to be stronger, wanted to be able to support their families, wanted to be able to contribute back to this country that supported them and brought them here to begin with. So our RTOs within the organisation provide specific training that allows a person to support another person. Then we have external agencies that come in to provide compulsory training. So with these programs that we've put together, we have noticed that our staff retention has actually increased. The good thing is that staff actually now feel comfortable enough to come to us and say, you know, I'm thinking of doing this course. Um, I'm not sure if Agape Care can support me. And that's another opportunity for us. And what I, why I say that is because if we're supporting this individual, some of those skills that they're learning will reflect when they're providing a support role or an administration role or a management role. I would like to achieve with my work, like an understanding of the differences and why we provide the services that we do the way we do. Uh, th there was a time where a family, you know, g gave me a description of what it felt like knowing for the first time that they actually had a child with special needs. And, you know, th the doctor's delivery, informing them that their child was going to be different. You know, th they were left in a room looking at each other, not quite understanding what does that mean for us. When we finally put a package together, a care package together, to be able to support this individual, the family sent a thank you card across. And I would like to read that card because I think it's very important when we're working in this industry to be able for us to achieve something incredible. 
I would like people to remember we were all born a different way, how we look and what we say. What makes us different, let us count the ways. Our gods and our religion, our language or our age. The clothes we wear, our skin or hair, an accent or a phrase. The food we eat, the friends we meet, the way we spend our days. Although we are so different, inside we are the same. And that's very true. That's what I would like people to take away from their work, from our work.